Let's crank it up. Oh god! Oh, that's dangerous. Look at that thing going. Oh, that's that's an engine. Hey, 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 what's up, you guys? Chicken Bone here playing Scrap Mechanic in my beautiful, beautiful chair. <laughs> I made this in like one minute. So, yeah. Um, today, I want to I wanna build a piston with you guys, like a real engine piston. Uh, I'm going to build it a little bit different than a normal engine because, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'm about to tell you. I, I already shot it and I already built the piston and I can show you the piston right now, which I will do. And uh, there it is. It's the piston fully operational and uh, as you can see it's uh, working quite nice and it's turning the wheel so the car's going forward right now and it's all it's amazing isn't it let's see is the car going forward yeah awesome so um yeah we're gonna build this one today and I hope you enjoyed the episode uh, the the only difference here between the pistons of, of a real car engine you know and uh, this one is basically that I have two pipes going up and normally you have one but I, I, I kind of didn't care. <laughs> that's basically, you can join them in the middle instead of the top. That's, that's the only difference. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video, guys. And I'll see you in a sec. Alright, so let's start this build here. Um, let's see. We'll make a big platform. I, I kind of don't want it to be in the way. It's kind of an aesthetic thing, you know, for in the background. Because it doesn't serve a purpose. Let's see. Um... We want to start off with a bracket that holds uh, the structure that uh, where the piston goes into. So let's skip one, two, three, and build another thing here. And let's go like like this, and then maybe back here we'll we'll do that. Oh god, no, wrong button. Let's go down a bit like that. Okay, so. No, no, I made a mistake. Never mind. We'll go one up. I don't want it to be too low. See, if I do it like that, it's going to be too low. Go like that. Then go two down. Like that, okay. Because uh, if I put it here, it's basically just going to um, glitch into that thing. Now, we can do two things. You can either do the round one here, or you can do the metal one. Now, for like for purposes of you guys viewing it and seeing what looks good I'm gonna do metal on this side and I'm gonna do um, the the pipes on the other side right so you can compare what you think looks coolest um, personally I think the pipes look the best but that's my opinion uh, let's see here we're gonna go like this because this is the this is the part that's gonna turn now I kinda forgot about the bearing there that's, that's one of the most important things Let's get a bearing and go like this, right? So the structure, um, it's uh, the piston is going to be driven by this single bearing right here. That's basically the whole idea behind it, and uh, it has to be because there's not really anything that can explode or something, you know, in this game. It, there's nothing that can drive the piston down, um, which would move this thing here. So we kind of have to move it our, uh, ourselves, and I'm just putting this controller on there to keep it uh, balanced, right? Because it's not on the lift, so if I would place a block here, it would turn, but now it won't. That's basically the idea behind that. Uh, so we'll go like this, uh, one up there, and then pull it down, and do that on both sides, like that. And we can put block there, and we have this, yeah? Now the easiest way to do this is just placing a block right there, and on that block we're gonna have a piston, uh, a piston. <laughs> I mean a bearing, and on the bearing we're gonna have one of these corner things. Now this corner thing, that's basically the the thing that drives the piston up and pulls it down, right? So uh, let's put, let's make it a big one. Let's make it big. Let's go on the lift ourselves. Make it make life a little bit easier. And then we can put another one on there and we'll go back to the middle. Like this. 
then we'll need another bearing and I'm guessing we could do with one of these guys instead of a block. You can either place a block here or you can place one of these guys. This looks better, right? Okay, so let's go like that and then we'll connect him to the controller and we'll turn him up a little bit because it will look uh, it will be easier to build like that. So we'll go 45 degrees I'm guessing blue. I didn't I didn't really look. No. <laughs> And it's 90 degrees. 90 degrees minus red. Like that. Okay. So it should point up now. There we go. Fixed. And on top of this guy is going to be the piston. Let's see. We'll use this guy as a piston. It's pretty big. Oh yeah. So let's go like that. Ooh. And I... Yeah, it's fine like that. I'm not sure if it's, the piston is actually it's actually smaller than the, than the than the structure around it. Is there anything bigger? I would like the piston to be huge, but like something like that. But I don't think how is how is the medium tank? Li oh, never mind. Like how big is this? Uh, we'll go and lift again. No, why? I hate you, lift. Eh. Like that, and go up. Right. So, how big is this guy? Oh, he's pretty big. <laughs> we could just do a huge piston just for funsies. <laughs> it looks kind of stupid, though. It looks really stupid, actually. Uh, I'll go one smaller. Just one. I don't know how big this medium tank is. Oh, it's actually the same width. How about a small one? Oh, this this is kind of perfect, I guess. If it would place it. Uh, let's place that. Let's just do it and keep things going here. Okay, so that would be the piston. And then we'll have a bearing here. And another corner to go down. And then two more pipes. Now... Of course, these pipes can also be joined down here, and then you can go one of these uh, long guys up there. It's it's what you prefer. Like a normal piston in a car engine uh, is one. So you would have one pipe going up, and the these two bearings that are up there in the middle, they would be down here in the middle. That's that's the only like real difference between it but uh, you know I want to try something different the first one I built had one pipe going up so you know trying to keep it fresh here <laughs> so we'll go like that and we'll go bearing and we'll go block and basically you build exactly the same structure as that side but then on this one so we'll go down and we'll get it on the controller everything on the controller because this stuff tends to mess with you like that makes it a little bit easier and uh, no we're doing something wrong here oh I see what we're doing wrong no where are you going stupid go up Ugh. like that and what we were doing wrong is this this one is a single one and I'll pull it down and I'll pull it down even further, like that. And then we'll place a block here and we'll delete the other two. Okay, that's perfect. So, well, uh, on this side we're doing the the round the pipes, right? So let's place a metal thing. Then let's see, did we have a bearing there? No, we don't. And then go pipes. Right. Okay. So basically, that piston gets driven down by like an explosion normally. Yeah that pushes down on these guys because these guys are not like in in the center or anything or like on a corner uh, but there's one block sticking out above them it's gonna want to go down and when it's down it's gonna want to go up again uh, it's, I, I, don't, I can't really explain it to you guys but at this point this structure is not attached anymore like I I wouldn't be able to build anything on this platform I think 
so we'll support it by just building something around this this pipe here. Uh, I guess we'll go we'll delete this just for aesthetics. We're gonna go with the dangerous uh, thing here, the danger theme. Like this this part is rotating, right? So that's dangerous. We'll go like that. Perfect. So now it's supported. Um, <clears throat> because the problem you're gonna have is there's one bearing here and it has metal hanging from it and that metal has the entire piston hanging from it and then you you build out all the way over there for my <coughs> you know sorry about that for my part so it's gonna get heavy and if you place these guys in between th this is just gonna rotate and lie on it so it's not gonna like incline or something which is gonna ruin everything because if the, this piston gets crooked just a little bit it's gonna end up crashing it's that simple so we want to keep it straight which we are doing right now um, now for these guys to make uh, an entire turn we're gonna have to delete the the part underneath them so let's go like this just to make sure they had to and we'll go is this on that line I think so so now they would be able to turn I think I kinda wanna do a test let's do it let's do a little test let's get an electric engine like that and we'll connect it to the main bearing let go connect it to you and then the danger is that this entire piston is gonna come down uh, no, we can't test it yet. We can't. Never mind. We're gonna build the structure now, right? So what we want to do is we want to start here, and I'm just gonna go up from uh, this spot in the middle, if I can. I'm so tiny. I hate against small people. Okay, we're gonna go up like this <coughs> because we have to support this piston. Did all these. Uh, bearings are gonna be off the controller <coughs> <coughs> and uh, basically you're gonna have to support it like that that bear uh, that cylinder is gonna be loose so let's go like this and we'll go over here and it has to be in there real tight like all the way so we'll go like this just to make sure and let's go hold on We have to go up a bit. We have to go even higher here. Um, let me think. This isn't high enough. I can't really get up there. Like that. Go a little bit higher. Like that. And then pull it over. Just for now. And then we can seal it off on, at the sides here. Right. Something like this. That should do it. Now this is the highest point it's going to get, so you can just skip one block here, that's fine, it's not going to touch it. And we'll go to the other side here and we'll pull it down exactly the same place. And skip one, like that. And now we can basically just go ahead and seal it off. So we'll go like this, and then pull it like that, and we'll go down again, and this should fit. that now we're gonna delete a lot of this stuff later right but for now we're just making the shell so that we know it's completely sealed in because it doesn't have to be completely sealed in right we can we can have a look at it moving and we're gonna do the same at this side I think it was two two and then down like that and seal it off right so the piston is enclosed it cannot go anywhere else that is basically what we want now these things they're gonna they're gonna move uh, diagonally too like they're gonna they're not gonna stay centered basically if this piston starts turning these guys will turn like that way and uh, these these other guys they will have to stay straight because the piston is stuck in there so they're gonna go like this basically 
they're gonna push it up like this and they're gonna go down here and they're gonna push it up and then they're gonna go down there and stuff like that so you kinda have to give them that space and that's what we're gonna do right now we're gonna just remove two rows here on every side like that and we'll have to figure out later on like how bad it's gonna be because we sh we could just delete this and it would keep the piston in place because we got this middle guy going and they would be free to move but we'll figure that out as soon as we start it up I mean that shouldn't be a problem now uh, I kind of want it to be symmetrical so let's go one two three four and then the fifth is down so one two three four five and down Okay, so it's gonna end up there, that's fine. We're gonna stop here, we're gonna go to the sides. I think it was one, two, two to the sides. Like that, and down again. Right, so now it's symmetrical with the with the with the other side, which just looks good basically. And uh, that's our piston guys, so let's let's go have a try. Uh, just for funsies, we're gonna have a wheel on this side. Uh, can we fit a big one? I'm hoping so. Yeah, we can fit a big one. Probably hitting the ground though. We'll, fi we'll find out soon enough if it's hitting the ground. Um, so what you want to do is you want to connect the engine. And we need this engine because it won't turn. And that's all it's gonna drive. So this engine is gonna drive this guy and they're gonna... <coughs> The piston is basically gonna move the wheel. Uh, it's it's just for you know the nice looking part. Normally in the engine, as I said, there would be an explosion up there, and it would be vacuumed, right? So you would have an explosion pushing down on the piston. And I think we can remove this, by the way. Hold on. I think we're allowed to do that. There would be an explosion up there. It would drive down this piston because it doesn't have anywhere else to go and the piston would be going down right now because of it going down this is gonna turn like this entire beam in the middle is gonna turn and uh, these guys because they're um, they're pointing up when one once it gets point uh, pushed down these guys are down right now the next piston would have these guys starting at the bottom so when these guys turn to the bottom, the other guys will automatically turn it up. And that's basically how an engine works, right? They push, the cylinders actually push each other in the right position uh, every time and just explosions go on and stuff like that and oh my god, explosions. So um, we're gonna remove that side too, basically so, just, so we can just see them move. Now the dangerous part here is that if I start it up, which we're gonna do real slow, uh, let's see what it doesn't really matter what side it turns. I'm gonna delete this and see if it stays in there Okay, it's not collapsing. That's that's the start now. I want a button to turn it on Right there and we'll connect that to the engine and the engine is gonna go one just for now um, I Can tell you already because I tested this build I, I, I'm turning it to one, it's gonna go real slow, and one of these two guys, probably uh, this one to the right, this one's probably gonna s get down there and then turn the other, go the other way all of a sudden, so they're gonna go opposite to each other. That's because the engine isn't quick enough, and I think the, like, the magic number was three or four on the engine. So let's try it out guys, I'm kinda curious if this one works because we got the hole down here, right? I'm not forgetting about that hole. Let's turn it on. There to go. Just pulling the piston down. They're not getting stuck, thank god. See, it's going it's going the other way, but the piston is moving. And that's where what we're doing it for, right? The piston is working. Awesome. See, this guy's going to turn around again, and that's basically because it isn't quick enough. <laughs> This part is not welded to the to the, to the, like the start point there, so that's basically the problem. And the wheel's turning, but as you can see, it's turning back again. Why is it doing that? Because he turns around. See, he starts turning around, but he drives the wheel. So the wheel basically goes forwards and backwards. 
Now, in order to fix this, it's quite simple actually. You just stop the engine and make sure it's straight. Uh, a little bit more. Okay, that should do it. We'll put it on like three. A three should be quick enough to, you know, keep it in motion and keep it going. There we go. And we got a wheel that just keeps going. The car is driving forward right now. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Look at the piston. So like you have it going up, explosion, boom. It goes down. And it gets driven back up normally by it, the other piston explosion. And that's how an engine works, guys. It's not that hard, actually. Um, so yeah, if you, if you like the build, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up for me. I would really appreciate it. Uh, I'm just starting out in Scrap Mechanic and I would like to... Uh, I would like to keep this series going because it is a awesome game to play guys really uh, for people that are really inventive and like to build stuff awesome game I highly highly recommend it so um, yeah thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next episode see you later let's crank it up oh god oh that's dangerous look at that thing going uh, that's that's an engine. Look at the wheel. We could probably shoot stuff. Oh, that would. Be... I have an idea for the next build. Okay, <laughs> see you later, guys.